Few animals strike as much fear into people as do venomous snakes. Although the chances of running into one, much less being bitten and passing from one, are minimal compared to other diseases. Only about 200 to 600 venomous snakes can actually do any harm to humans. Some, though, aren't to be played with and can cause serious complications, including death. Watch till the end to find out if you know the 10 most dangerous snakes you should never touch. Number 10. Saw-Scaled Viper Saw-Scaled Vipers may be small, but don't let their size fool you. They might be small, but their irritability, aggressive nature, and lethal venom make them very dangerous. These tiny lethal snakes inhabit arid regions and dry savannas, north of the equator, across Africa, Arabia, and southwestern Asia to India and Sri Lanka. It's believed that saw-scaled vipers are responsible for more human deaths than all other snake species combined in these regions where they're found. It's easy to spot one, especially due to their side-winding locomotion. Luckily, these creatures are nocturnal, and you might only bump into one if you're wandering around at night. They use this opportunity to hunt for food, including mammals, birds, other snakes, lizards, amphibians, and invertebrates. They're characterized by a stout body with a pear-shaped head that's distinct from the neck, with vertically elliptical pupils, rough and strongly keeled scales, and a short, thin tail. The sides of its body have several rows of obliquely arranged serrated scales. Their length varies from 0.3 meters to 0.9 meters. Can you imagine this tiny creature can produce up to 23 eggs per female? Number 9. King Cobra the king cobra, which is one of the most venomous snakes on the planet, can not only stand up and confront you face to face, they can lift up to a third of their body off the ground and still move forward to attack. You should never wish to experience this, considering king cobras can reach up to 18 feet in length. On the bright side, as intimidating as they may look, they're actually shy creatures and they'll avoid humans as much as possible. What's scary is the hiss that they admit that sounds like a growling dog. It's kind of horrifying. When it comes to venom, they surprisingly don't have the most potent venom, but the amount of neurotoxin they can deliver in a single bite is enough to kill 20 people or even an elephant. The snake can't ingest a human, but they're notorious for eating small mammals, lizards, and birds. Number 8. Tiger Snake Tiger snakes are one of Australia's most notorious species of venomous snakes. Popular legend has it that the first British settler to die from the tiger snake's bite in Australia did so within hours of the first fleet's arrival. Contrary to perceived wisdom, tiger snakes aren't as aggressive, although they don't hesitate to defend themselves when provoked. This vicious snake kills their victim with a potent mixture of tools. An interesting thing about this species is they tend to vary in size, depending on the prey they feed on. When it comes to color, tiger snakes are very variable, and despite the name tiger, these snakes are often unbanded. Sadly, their populations declined over the years due to human disturbance in their habitats. Number 7. Black Mamba The Black Mamba likely isn't something too foreign to hear. These snakes have developed quite a reputation as one of the world's deadliest snakes. Not only that, but they're also the fastest land snakes in the world. They're also the longest species of venomous snake in Africa, reaching up to 14 feet long. Many African myths are based on the danger this snake imposes, and they've been blamed for thousands of human deaths. Black Mambas have coffin-shaped heads, and they're athletic snakes with a long lifespan of up to 11 years. Black Mambas are shy and will almost always seek to escape when confronted, but don't underestimate them. If an attacker persists, the Mamba will strike not once but repeatedly, injecting large amounts of potent neurotoxin and cardiotoxin with each strike. Contrary to what its name would suggest, Black Mambas are actually brownish in color ranging from olive and grayish tones with paler bellies. They're named after the coloration of the inside of their mouths, which is a deep black. Number 6. Inland Taipan This medium to large snake can be distinguished by its robust build and deep rectangular shaped head. Their eyes are large with a very dark iris and round pupil. The dorsal color varies from pale fawn to yellowish brown to dark brown, with the head and neck being several to many shades darker than the body. During the cold seasons of winter, these snakes tend to wear a dark brown shade and in summer months have a fading shade. 
The interior edge of the dorsal tends to create a broken herringbone pattern along the length of the body. During mating season, these fear snakes are able to lay about 20 eggs. As with every other venomous snake on this list, the inland taipan are quick to defend themselves if disturbed. Number 5. Mulga Snake Australia's largest venomous snake is a heavily built brownish or olive green mulga snake with a broad, deep head and bulbous cheeks. It's known to grow to lengths of 3 meters long with 17 mid-body scale rows. The scales on the back, sides, and tail are usually two-toned. A darker color covers the distal portion of the scale to various degrees and may be brown, reddish brown, coppery brown, or brownish black. The belly is cream to salmon colored and often has scattered orange blotches. Back to the wide head, the mulga snake is complemented with relatively small eyes with a pale reddish brown iris. They feed mostly on frogs, other small reptiles, and sometimes mammals. Despite most venomous snakes being violent only when provoked, mulga snakes have, however, been noted to bite people who were asleep at the time. Number 4. Common Death Adder The common death adder has a stocky body with an arrow-shaped head. The tail tip is thin and ends with a short spine. The back can be shades of gray to reddish-brown and is usually marked with lighter bands while the belly is grayish to cream. This snake surprisingly only grows to 75 centimeters long. Unlike most venomous snakes on this list that are known to be vicious prey hunters, the common death adder is a different kind of dangerous. The snake lures prey to itself by using a worm-like tail to attract prey. The snake is an ambush predator that sits motionless, concealed in leaf litter, sand or gravel, ready to trick its way to a meal. They actually risk sitting tight and withstand being stepped on, making them more dangerous especially to the unwary explorer. Before anti-venom, bites from the common death adder seemed fatal since the snake's venom contained a neurotoxin that caused loss of motor and sensory function, including respiration, resulting in paralysis and death. Number 3. Hydrophis belcheri Hydrophis belcheri, commonly known as the faint banded sea snake or belcher sea snake, is a venomous species of a lapid sea snake. Their size ranges from 0.5 to 1 meter in adult length. Its thin body is usually chrome yellowish in color with dark greenish crossbands. Its scales are different from most other snakes in that they actually overlap each other. Since they're mostly found at sea, most victims from their venomous bites are fishermen handling nets. Though they rarely inject much of their venom, only about 25% ends up being envenomed. These snakes aren't to be feared as much since much of their vicious nature is a myth. Based on a fictitious book by Ernst and Zog titled Snakes in Question, the Smithsonian Answer Book from 1996. Number 2. Eastern Coral Snake vs. Scarlet King Snake Visually, these snakes may pass as the same thing, but they're two totally different species. The easiest way to differentiate king snakes from coral snakes is by looking at their coloring. Coral snakes have yellow and red bands that touch each other, while black bands always separate the yellow and red bands on king snakes. Many people confuse the two, but only one seems to be worth the worry. The eastern coral snakes are a venomous bunch that love to attack silently. There's little to no pain or swelling at the side of the bite, and other symptoms can be delayed for up to 12 hours. If untreated, the victim risks are slurred speech, double vision, and muscular paralysis, eventually ending in respiratory or cardiac failure. As for the Scarlet King Snakes, this bunch is non-venomous and will never harm you if you cross their path. Funny enough, there's actually a rhyme to help you distinguish the two. It goes, if red touches yellow, you're a dead fellow. If red touches black, you're alright, Jack. Number 1. Coastal Taipan as the list goes on, it's evident that Australia has got some of the most dreaded snake species on the planet. These coastal taipan snakes are equipped with the longest fangs of any Australian snake, measuring 13 millimeters long. Of course, they aren't just for beauty. These snakes have the third most toxic venom of any land snake. Luckily, they're not usually confrontational and would much rather escape any threat. However, when they do attack, expect several lightning-fast snapping bites. The venom affects the nervous system and the blood with nausea, convulsions, internal bleeding, destruction of the muscles, and kidney damage. 
In severe cases, death can occur in just 30 minutes. Before the introduction of a specialized anti-venom in 1956, Taipan bites were nearly always fatal and caused many human deaths. The coastal Taipan is usually light olive to dark russet brown, but sometimes dark gray to black. Let's not forget the red devilish eyes. The longest snake can grow up to 2.9 meters long. See you next time.